Hello everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm back with the third week of April read, start from the 15th through the 21st of April 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Libra. So let's see, Libra, what is coming up for you for this week time? I will be adding oracle cards in this read, so stay tuned, Hanna, before I dive into the read. Let me remind you, it is a general read, it and it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that are offered as well so yeah let's see what is going to happen for you for this week time what can you expect eight of cups um wow uh, i do see you taking action towards uh something that you were ignoring before something that you were clouded in your head about um it, it can be a love life situation it can be a work life situation but whatever the situation is it was always hard for you to take action to take a decision around it um for majority of you i do see you emotionally involved into something and you you you, you could not make that decision because maybe for some of you maybe you had to walk away from what you love walk away from uh what you desire um uh, and you always had this inner knowing that this is something that you will have to do, but you could not do it because you had emotional attachment. So I feel like now is the time when you are going to be like uh, detaching yourself uh, from the situation, from this person, from this relationship uh, emotionally. So you could move ahead uh, in your life. Um, it's, it's more like, you know, surrendering your, your current energies surrendering your desire to the divine so whatever the best is for you shall come to you so i do see you basically surrendering it to the divine that you believe in and taking the action that you were always having the inner pull to take action towards i do see you walking away from something i don't see that um you are accepting anything right now it's, it's more like you're just choosing a path which you believe is going to bring you uh that peace that you have been looking for uh, and it's, it's more like, you know, the moment you decided, okay, fine, I'm going to surrender to the divine. I'm not going to be taking, you know, um, any fearful action is going to be the time when you will start seeing things falling into place. And you would feel later on, like, you know, uh, why now? Why it's working out now when I have decided to move on? So I do see that energy coming up for you. Uh, let's see, Mokhat here, Eight of uh, Swords and Knight of Wands. Again, I feel like you know, it's, it's more like uh, you are basically um, you are definitely surrendering it to the divine and you don't want to stay stuck for long or anymore, I would say. Underneath that, if we do have the sun, it's, it's more like, you know, um, I do see you walking away from a person, from a connection, from a relationship which has been stuck, which has been stagnant. And you deciding to walk away from it and surrendering it to the divine is going to open doorways that you never thought would ever open for you when it comes to this connection. Uh, you will have the communication. You will have abundance. You will have things falling into place which fell apart earlier because maybe you were too focused on why things are not working and why this, why that. And now when you're okay with the, with you letting it go and uh, letting divine take charge of the situation, you believe in the divine timing around it now. And that is going to open up new doorways for you to have whatever you've been praying for. Because you're not fearful now. You're not concerned now. You're just letting divine take care of everything with a firm faith around it, with a firm belief around it, which is the reason why I just see you breaking free from any mental physical emotional blocks that you might have been having around the situation that you felt would never change um the moment you decide to move on everything is going to be like oh my god like you know as if everything is working out now um if it applies to your work life situation you know the moment you decide okay fine i want to give up my you know this uh, i want to quit my this job because my work environment is getting hectic or something like that you will see like, you know, something is, you know, the moment you might have decided to resign or you want, you know, to, to leave that job, you will see that everything is falling into place now. You know, the issues that you were having would be resolved. The people who were like, you know, being bullying you or something, they will be starting, you know, to be very nice and helpful to you. It's, it's more like maybe it's just the switch of focus that you had on, you know, why it's happening with me, why me, why me, why me, 
I feel like you know the moment you decided okay fine I don't want to be a part of it and I'm moving on you have stopped thinking why me you're because you are the chooser now you are becoming the one who is going to choose a different path for yourself and you are not letting the people control your situation by not saying you know of uh, um why me any further you are choosing to walk out of that situation by taking charge of the situation so that's going to you know um stop your focus uh, you know from from uh, being on the wrong things to the right things that is moving forward moving ahead you know looking forward to have a happy life looking forward to have a happy relationship and that's going to you know start uh, basically erasing um the negative part of your life that negative patterns that you were having in your life be that in love or work life and i feel like you know that change is definitely coming in for you for this week time because you have decided something and that's going to bring the changes that you were not you know uh seeing coming so i do see some um, uh, uh, you know some unexpected abundant changes coming up for you the things that you had given up on um are finally coming into you know in uh, coming into your being right now and i do see that it's it's definitely going to make you happy but it's not um any more something that you were like so excited about or you were so like concerned about you will happy you will be happy when you get it when you when you see it but at the same time it's it's going to be like okay fine it's it's just it's not going to be so important to you any further i feel like you know it's going to be something that you would be okay if you have it and you would uh, you would be okay if you don't have it either so i feel like you know it's more of that energy you 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 are basically happy with whatever that is coming and flowing into your life so you are just letting things be i feel like you know it's, it's more of that energy where you decided to okay fine i'm not going to take stress around it i'm not going to be like you know in that situation where i would be concerned about it so i do see you basically relaxing yourself and choosing a path which makes you feel comfortable from uh within you know uh if staying in a connection makes you feel bad makes you feel toxic you are definitely walking away from that um to towards your happiness towards your dream life towards your you know what you desire so anything and everything that was disturbing you emotionally affecting you in a negative way you are definitely walking away from that let's see some oracle cards here let's see what do you want to know further around it soulmate yes this is your soulmate now for some of you if this person is your soulmate uh maybe you could not detach yourself from this person uh and uh, you know the way things were getting toxic between the two of you uh if you had done that before your love life would have fallen to place in in the past as well but maybe it was a hard decision like i said earlier for you to 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 do that and the moment you decide okay fine i'm going to surrender it to the divine i'm not going to be like you know looking at it with all my focus and attention of my life into it so the moment you do that this person is going to be like opening up about their feelings to you uh they might start communicating to you well they might start valuing you more so it's more of that energy where you understand how um, what is more important to you right now what is uh making you happy right now is is being in a situation is making you happy yes or no and if the answer is a no you have to take action there is something that you are doing wrong and i feel like you know that is something which is you know making you take an action towards your happiness and the moment you choose yourself your happiness walking away cutting ties detaching yourself and uh, believing in the divine timing around it and don't try to you know uh, push things forward you will see miraculous help coming in uh where where everything will start working well for you and you would not be expecting it to happen because you are trying to give up on it uh in a way where you surrender it to the divine you don't give up on your your um your dream desire it's just that you you believe that it will happen when the time is right and you are allowing that to happen without chasing your dream or something let's see more cards here this could be the one you have already met the romantic partner you see i feel like you know this person when it comes to your love life i feel like you know this person is very significant to you for you and this connection is definitely something more than what you can imagine right now maybe that was the reason why you could not move on from this person before but you are doing that now and i do see that that's going to make you uh and your person have that room of understanding where you could not you know you know the, the room to understand this connection better i would say because maybe maybe when you were being up, being together maybe you were fighting or you were arguing only but now when you are going to be apart 
things will be different. Things will, you know, that your person will have time to think about you. Your person will have the time to understand this connection better. Um, and that's going to make them come to you. That's going to make them understand that this is something beautiful. This is something major. This is something that they cannot deny. And that's going to bring this person that awareness around this connection as well. So I feel like, you know, you are choosing the right decision of your life now by walking away from the situation because it's definitely taking you where you want it to go. You are getting your wish granted. Let's see more uh, guidance for you. Flow. Let life flow around you and relax. I feel like you know, the divine really wants you to relax right now and not let the things happen on the divine timing. And that's exactly what is going to be happening for you during this week time as well. Masculine, confidently assert your personal power. I feel like you know, it's, it's, it's very important to, to be strong right now and to, to be, uh, you know, I, I do see that you, you know, it's not going to be an easy decision for you. Uh, to pull away emotionally or to detach emotionally but yes you have to be that strong this time around to get what you want you cannot be letting this happen or the, letting this continue forever if you have to detach to get what you want then what else do you want like you know you, you are definitely getting closer to what you wanted by detaching yourself right now so yeah just do that and uh, you will see abundance coming in so that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it helped you do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye